Well, Vic, good afternoon. At this point, that is the feeling that I have, but the case is actually still being heard by the judge. He actually let the uh, jury or actually let us leave, and he had a 10-minute recess so that the prosecution and the, uh, the defense could regroup, and they were in witness 6 of 10. Basically, the prosecution has outlined what appears to be a systematic pattern of deposits turned into the office of the Royal Oak High School, coming up short when they ultimately made it to the bank. They have several school, uh, school clubs, robotics club, the athletic club. Receipts would be turned into a vault. In that vault is a safe. Now, the vault was left open multiple times, and the safe was left open as well. And so this is, of course, not a trial. It's just a preliminary hearing to see if it will ultimately be held over for trial. The defense has done a good job of proving that anyone could have walked into this vault or walked into the safe and walked off with that money. But as the principal, Mr. Greening is the chief administrator who is in charge of all of that. And at this point, the prosecution is systematically moving forward with what he deems is the reason why he believes that Mr. Greening is ultimately responsible. Now, he was let go from his position in June of this year, but this stems back to early last year when these deposits were coming up short. So at this point, it does appear that it may be held over for trial, but we do not have that uh, officially. The judge is still hearing testimony as it relates to why he may in fact be responsible for this money coming up short. For right now, that is the very latest from Royal Oak, Malcolm Maddox, 7 Action News.